everybody, Caleb here. And the last couple of weeks, I've been uploading a couple of videos uh, here and there about the guitar I've been working on, the one I've been building, which is my first guitar. And it's kind of occurred to me that I haven't uploaded the beginning. So uh, I figured I'd start uploading little segments of the beginning here so we can start building up to where we're at. Um, this has been on my Patreon for a long time now, and I've actually added a little bit more to it today. Um, so... For those of you who've seen this before, sorry, but here it is for everybody else, finally. Um, kind of catch you up where we've been. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. This is a really old video at this point. We're going on almost four years ago. This was like September of 2020. Um, <laughs> which I kind of hate to admit because that shows how long it's taken me to do this thing. Now, when I say these clips are old, I mean they're really old. Um, these are all pretty much from while I was still at Jerry's and I was working on this. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of old stuff, and it's going to be uh, the way it hasn't been for a long time. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, these are these are old clips from Jerry's, and you'll see Jerry in the background as we do. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Jerry Rosa. I find it unlikely that anybody watching doesn't know. But uh, uh, Jerry Rosa from Rosa Stringworks. I spent a lot of time there, so these are all from then. But uh, yeah, so... We should be uh, getting these out when I can, as I do. Um, in between probably my real projects here, we'll get some of these videos out. But uh, here's the first part of the build you've seen me working on. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, Caleb here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is currently 7.30 on a Sunday evening, and I have got something new to do. I'll give you a little hint. It starts with this. Well, you might know that this is going to be my guitar. You can see I've already got some sides, the top and the back, all picked out. Of course, these are Paduke sides and Paduke back and the regular Anirondack or Red Spruce top. I've already got some work done on these. The back and the sides are already the thickness. And the sides still need to be cut into shape, but they're here, <clears throat> and I do have two sides, and two tops, and two backs. You're going to see the beginnings of my first guitar build. Here we go. Alright, so I've gone ahead and got the template out for the sides. And there's a couple things I want to talk about real fast before I really get into this. This is going to be my guitar, and I do plan on doing 99% of the work. If I need help with something, I do have Jerry to ask, but this will all be on my time for myself. Um, the mistakes that I make will be my mistakes, and they will be in my guitar. So, I'll have to live with what I do wrong. And to start off on mistakes, you may have seen the last guitar that Jerry built, the uh, one that's going to California. He ended up with the sides a little too short. Well, this cutout that Jerry has is too short. That is what we decided was wrong with it. Jerry got out the tape measure and measured it. And it's just, just a little bit too short. But the problem is... He measured it after I cut the length on these pieces. So, I am probably going to have the same problem that he had on his last guitar. And that's okay. I'll work with it, and it'll turn out fine. So, you can see I've got a little bit of play here on where I want this. And I am trying to get it so that this will run fairly straight. You can see it's pretty straight as it is, the grain, but it does kind of curve up here. Maybe it would make more sense to do it this way. Now I can draw this on with pencil and then check and see how I like it. I think that's what I'm going to do. You might be able to see there's a, a sliver of orange on this side. So it may not quite have the same 
problem that Jerry's had since I know that it's a little short and I can leave a little extra on. But I suspect they're going to be just a hair short regardless of what I decide. I'm not sure if you can see the line. It's kind of thin because I did it with pencil, but I think that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to make sure this one is oriented in the same way, which I think is here. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this one the same way. These two are cut off the same piece, and really, all of my Paduke is off of the same plank. It's all the same tree, but these two were cut like this. I ran it and pulled it out, thickness them. I'm not sure that you can see the lines on there, but they are on there, and I think I'm pretty happy with those. Well, since I already thicknessed the back and the sides, I figured I'd show you a little bit of thicknessing the top. Um, I've already started. This side's almost sanded as flat as this side. These two sides, they're matched together, but they're not the same thickness. So one of them started off a little bit thinner. Anyways, I'm sanding these down. Well, I've got the two pieces of the top laid out. They're not glued up yet, but I'm fairly certain they're ready to be. If we press them flat, you can see they join really, really well. This is the same way that uh, Jerry clamps his tops. Basically, we've got two flat pieces of wood clamped to the table here and when you push down it pushes the sides out and against which clamps the join together. You can tell it doesn't really want to stay clamped down because when I release it pops up. So what we'll do is we'll put glue along the seam and then we'll put something heavy on it to keep it clamped down. I think it's looking pretty good. I think. So, I think I'm just about ready to glue that up. It's kind of a, a big, big step here, you know. There's a lot of stress on this join, and I want to make sure I get it right. Here we go. No time like the present. I am going to slide this under. The one side I'm not working on up. You might notice I've got parchment paper already down and that's so that the squeeze out on the bottom, I'm inevitably not going to be able to clean up. Will not get on the table saw that I am clamping this on. I'm actually going to kind of pick this up a second so I can get a little closer to some spots. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm 
All right, and Jerry typically uses this hard rubber roller thing, kind of get them to mate up a little bit better. We'll try that. I'm gonna go ahead and stick another piece of parchment paper over top. Stick this down the center where we need more pressure. And then I can stick heavy drawer of screws on top. So all that pressure is pushing down right on the center, right where we need the clamping to push it out, push it down flat. I think we're going to be good. So now I'm over at the heater. Um, I just glued up the top maybe five minutes ago to give you an idea. There's not been a big jump in time. It's sitting at the table saw right, right there. Um, while I was gluing that up, I had this plugged in warming up and it's now up to almost 430 degrees. Uh, to give you an idea as to when I'm doing this, um, part one of the last guitar build came out last weekend. So I'm actually watching the California guitar being built on YouTube while Jerry's not in here to know where to start. And if you watch part one, you'll see that he starts at the thickest side, the bottom part of the guitar. So that's where I'm gonna start. We're gonna start warming this up, I guess. Something I gotta keep track of is how I'm actually supposed to bend this. Now if you notice, this is the side that moves, which means this is the back of the guitar and this is the top. Which means it's going to bend this way. Well, there's uh, seven and a half minutes worth of work. I'm going to do most of this off camera. There's quite a bit to do. You can see how I do it. It's just going to take me some time to do it. No point in wasting so much space. Well, I've made quite a bit of progress. You can, you can see. Not quite got this one finished. This is the second one. The other side is in the mold. And it's kind of clamped up so that it fits because you really can't get this perfect. You kind of have to get it close, go stick it in the mold and clamp it up and let it dry. And then it will hold a lot better. I found that Sticking it on there until it just about stops steaming and then moving it is typically what works best. Give you an idea what it looks like. I'll go check it in the mold. Well, 
There we go. It's all fit up in the mold. Now, I think typically Jerry puts uh, like sticks in there to push it apart. Right now, I'm just going to leave it kind of clamped with a whole bunch of clamps. Um, I think the reason Jerry does that is so that he can glue the perf in. And I'll probably end up doing the same. But for this to dry, and seeing as it's getting late, I'm just going to leave it like this to dry. I'll stick some sticks in it when I get back to it. But I'm going to leave it like this for now.